All right, so we're going to take a second here and look at Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, specifically how to solve Hardy-Weinberg problems. So I wanted to give you a second, first of all, to see what you're going to be given on your equation sheet for the AP test. So this is a snippet, a cutout of what you will see on your formulas, formula sheet. So you will be given the equation, then you will be told that P is, tells you the frequency of the dominant allele in a population, and Q is the frequency of the recessive allele in a population. So you will be told that, but you will also need to know that P squared gives you the frequency of individuals that have the homozygous dominant trait. 2PQ is the frequency of individuals with the heterozygous genotype. And then Q squared is the frequency of individuals that are homozygous recessive. Okay, so here's an example problem. So what we have here is 36% of the population have a unibrow. Individuals with the unibrow have the recessive trait. So most of the time, you're going to be given something like this to start. You will need to know that these individuals you know, that have the unibrow ha are homozygous recessive. So the frequency of individuals that are homozygous recessive are represented in the equation by Q squared. So essentially what we know so far to start is 36% or 0.36 of the individuals are have Q is equal to Q squared. Okay, so we've got three questions we want to answer. Number one, determine the person in the population that does not have unibrows. Number two, what's the frequency of the dominant and recessive allele? Number three, what person in the population is heterozygous? So what I would like you to do now is pause. I want you to pause the video and see if you can figure this out by using the equation. So go ahead and pause. All right, so hopefully you're now you're coming back. You've tried to solve the problems. Hopefully it was pretty simple. Um, so like I said, we know just from what we started with that Q squared is 0.36. From that, we can get all sorts of information. So really, these problems are all about trying to find Q and P. And everything after that is just plug and chuck. So Q, we can get by taking the square root of 0.36, and we get 0.6. And then what it asked was, what person in the population do not have unibrow? So what person in the population have the dominant trait? So remember, P is representing frequency of the dominant trait. So we take 1 minus Q equals P, so we get 0.4 or 40%. So that's solution for 1. Solution for 2, we really already figured this out. We've already figured out Q. The frequency of the recessive allele is 0.6. And the frequency of the dominant allele, P, is 0.4. So we've already figured that out. And the last question, number three, asked you to figure out the person in the population that's heterozygous. So that is represented by 2PQ. So once again, we're just going to plug and chug. Because we figured out P and Q, everything else is easy after that. We're going to take 2 times 0.4 times 0.6, and that gives us 0.48 which is 48%. So hopefully um, you feel pretty good about that now as a quick review and you'll be ready to go.